Canada's 100th birthday celebration at Expo 67 is also credited as the birthplace of the big screen movie production. Filmmakers Graham Ferguson, Robert Kerr, and Roman Kreuter wowed audiences using multiple cameras and multiple projectors for the first time. The trio went from thinking big to thinking bigger. They, along with engineer William Shaw, developed a streamlined projection system they called IMAX. And by 1971, the world's first permanent IMAX theater opened in Ontario. Today, there are more than 500 IMAX theaters around the world. Think, fly! Fly? Not only has it changed the way we watch movies, it's changed the way we make them. You're not in Kansas anymore. Tony Myers is award-winning filmmaker and the editor of the first all-IMAX film, North of Superior. She joins us in studio this morning. Thanks for coming in. My pleasure. And we just were talking before the, we came up on camera. So North of Superior was 1970. Yes, we were working on it in, in that winter. That's yeah. incredible. And the kinds of things that were achieved that many years ago. Tell me what it was like to be involved in the first IMAX film. It was incredibly exciting for me because it was uh, something that had never happened anywhere in film. So we couldn't even see what it was we were working on because you edited, I was the editor on the film, right. and you, you did that in 35 millimeter. So it wasn't until it was all finished that I actually saw wow. what I'd been working on with Graham. It was so groundbreaking at the time. Did you think that it would have been a one-off or that this would be the future of the really big films to see? We hoped it would be <laughs> a huge success, yeah. which happily it turned out to be. But uh, at, the, at the time, it was just enormously exciting to see the impact on audiences, which carried on, of course. And to this day, you I know, mean, now... were standing up. You know, when that first shot bursts out yes. into the full screen and hugging strangers. It was quite, really? yeah, it was quite amazing to, to watch the audience. Where in the world do you think it could go now? And I say that because we've got 3D, we've got cameras underwater, we've got cameras in space. Where else? Well, you, who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Absolutely. It's, um, you know, what we're doing right now is expanding in the digital realm. Uh, to a much bigger audience than, than we ever have before. And that's gratifying to see, to reach many, many more people with a, a constant stream of Hollywood films. Mm -hmm. And now Hollywood filmmakers finally are using IMAX cameras to shoot their films. Uh, Mission Impossible 4 is yes. coming out later this year. That's all, uh, shot in IMAX with IMAX cameras and also um, uh, The Dark Knight Rises, Christopher Nolan, and that's coming out next year. It's still such yeah. an event. I mean, for 40 years later, it is an event to see an IMAX film. It's a lot of fun. There. It's a lot of fun and a lot of fun to work on. Tony, thanks so much for coming in. My pleasure.